What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to the public block storage, and welcome back to some more unoriginal craft. Um, I gotta be a bit quiet this episode because the household is currently sleeping. They are all in their beddy buys. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so uh, today I wanna get this done. This is my main priority. This will be done. This back wall is pretty much the only thing I've left to do. And maybe place a chest somewhere. Hmm. Perhaps I'll actually move this back here and I'll put the chest here against the wall. Oh, I should write a book too to explain how it works. I, I forgot all about that. Um, I moved some chest items. I, I took pretty much... I wanted to start moving this stuff all the way back to my kind of base. <laughs> so I, I started doing that. Um, not really because I wanted to be more prepared, but because I was, I want, I need, I, every time I go to record one of these episodes, I have to, I have to restart my computer because Fraps doesn't open, but, um, so yeah, that was my issue. I had to restart my computer, but I was in the middle of watching the, a, a video, so I didn't want to start that. So while I was waiting, I started moving some stuff back over. Um, so yeah, let's, I guess we could start here. Well, wait, oh crap, do I have a pick, do I have a pickaxe still? Oh, <laughs> you got me there, game. <laughs> Whew, okay. <clears throat> um, so I'm trying to decide here exactly what I want to do for the back wall here. I mean, it's really... I don't really get much... I mean, I guess I would probably want to do something in relation to this, right? Something multi-layered? That's... No, it's dark, dark oaks, um, right? Definitely. And I don't have an axe to break that. Super duper prepared scooper. It's in here? Nope. Did I take it back? I took it back, then I? Great. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I, I apologize. I don't get to be as loud in this episode. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I really want to finish up this place. Which, you know, that that's exactly when we do this episode. But, um. After that, I do have some things I still want to do around spawn. But what I might do is I, I think I it's time I not move out of spawn. But I think it's time I really need to... God dang it. I should just make a freaking axe at this point. Probably. I think I really need to just move out. And, um... Ooh, that was... I think it's time to really move out and go find a base of my own. At least then I could have, like, a base of operations. And did I already have freaking dark oak wood? Of course I did. fan diddly Uh Yeah, I want to move out of spawn here. Just so I can have a base of operations to go to. Nope. So, I, I do want to do that in this episode as well. Oh, maybe not this episode, but maybe that'll be a thing I do if I run out of stuff to do. But, uh, actually, this might just be a shorter episode anyways, because I do got to go to bed. It's 10.36. Um, I work tomorrow. And... I oh, probably didn't put that. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. Uh, but I have something explaining to do, because I was supposed to post an episode yesterday, and I did not. And, um, you, you guys could either listen to my excuse, or you could immediately put me on the stake and murder my face off. Probably would be the smart thing to do this. Ooh, I don't like that. Did I do anything about that over here? Huh. No, I did not, because it was not protruding like this, so I gotta move the entire thing back. Okay, fine, we'll make an axe. Do I have supplies to make an axe? I do. So... Yesterday was an interesting day in which I edited all day long, and um, I, I kind of ran out of time because I was really I, I'm really far behind on editing because of other life situations going on. But I really caught up yesterday, and then uh, Matt sent me his SpongeBob versus stuff, and I really had the choice to either one get that all edited and done, or to make one of these episodes. And I kind of chose it. Would be better in like everyone's interest if I just made or if I just finished up the SpongeBob SquarePants Spree video. Um, so I decided to do that, and the reason why I didn't just do both was because by the time I, ed I finished editing the the versus video, it was 2:30 a.m. And while I didn't really need to be up early today, well, that's not entirely true. I had to be up kind of early today because I uh, promised my girlfriend we'd be going on a date to our local museum, um, a museum that was just set up less than a year ago actually only a few months uh, it, it, anyway it's like a huge museum like massive um the canadian uh what's it called again i always forget what it's called canadian museum of human rights that's what it is yeah got it 
and so I need to be up early for that because they close at five, <laughs> and um, we had like we heard it, it's a very long thing. Like you, if you go there, you expect to be there all day. Oh, I don't know if I like that to be honest either. I think it's really my only option here. I see you, asshole! You floating bow that is probably connected to a skeleton. Uh, so yeah, we ended up we we ended up going there, and let me tell you guys, not as good as I was expecting, unfortunately. Well, actually, I, no, I need that. I need it. I don't have any wood, dude. Well, I mean, at least we're building up down here. <laughs> uh, it was not as good as it looked, or from what we've heard. I guess I could take that block back as well. I don't really need it there. Get in my belly. Um. It was just, it was a lot of reading. The entire museum is reading, which there were some things to look at, which is great, which I mean, ah, good lord. That's definitely the number one thing I look for in museums is, do I have to read things? Yes, well, I'm not going to like that museum. <laughs> I like looking at things, and I feel like a lot of people are the same way. Uh, I mean, it, it was certainly, a, it was an interesting museum. I think I'm going to do something different for the middle here. But uh, it wasn't as good as I was expecting. It was just, there was, they had some things. Um, what it essentially was, was, well, just things on human rights. They had a bunch of Holocaust stuff there, a whole bunch of, like, women's rights, gay rights, that kind of stuff. They had a bunch of all that there. And they had some display stuff. Most of it was just, you know, this is a replication. One of the cool things I saw there was actually uh, a Roman coin from 2,000 years ago. That looked really cool. Uh, it just it looks very similar to how coins look today, to be honest. It was a copper coin, almost kind of like a penny, except it wasn't centered, and, you know, you obviously don't have, like, machine perfection. I guess I need... Spru I don't know, why would I... It's kind of a... I should, probably should have left more spruce wood for myself. <laughs> I don't have very much of it here, apparently. Um, but yeah, that, yeah, so... I give it, like, a B, I guess. It wasn't the best experience of my life, but it was definitely like an interesting thing. Like, I w oh, this looks kind of empty, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I do to really remedy that, and I'm wasting blocks. Wasting blocks. I don't cur. I don't cur. I don't cur because I'm a geo. I'm a geo. Yeah. Uh, I well, I guess it would make the most sense to still do this, right? Maybe we'll just place some uh stone bricks there, I guess. I didn't really test any of this. Ah, oh, that looks so flat and blech. You know? Let's just see what this looks like. If you don't like it, the beautiful thing in Minecraft is you could tear it all down. Do -do. Oh, I just real wait, did I use different wood? Did I? Did I? Which no, well, that's the same one. I think it's just the lighting that's making it look weird. I thought I was using spruce wood for some reason down here, but no. It's got to be the same. I don't like that one bit, actually. What if I... What would happen? Oh, well, like this. What if I did this? This is just a placeholder block. As is this. And then I did this. Huh? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> maybe if we did it again over here. I just I, I don't like how flat it looks, you know. I mean, I am the best architecture in Minecraft ever, right? So that's a thing. Yeah, uh, what else do we really see at the museum? I mean, like I said, it was mostly just reading and kind of boring. <laughs> like just just I, the only interesting part I actually was interested in reading was um, a lot of like Holocaust stuff. I think I kind of like that better. Um, there's a bunch of World War II stuff, and that was actually the, one of the biggest exhibits, to be honest. And yeah, I, I thought that was the most interesting thing they had there, at least for me. I wonder how this would actually look like. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I don't really have, know what else to replace this with, so we'll just replace it with spruce wood. I did it. All by myself. I did it again. Yeah, yeah, And I could even put the chest in here instead of getting rid of this and moving it somewhere else. Perfecto. Alright. So we need... Okay, so we're going to need a chest. 
made of real gorilla vests. Um, yes, if I can so. Then we're gonna make a bunch of signs. I don't know how many, so don't even ask. A bunch. <laughs> the answer is a bunch. Like, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, and there they are standing in a row and stuff. It's pretty great. Pretty fan diddly -tastic. Uh One of the coolest things about being at the museum, though, was it... There's, like, eight levels to it, and it was it was really cool being inside of it, because uh, there's, there's, like, one central staircase that goes all the way up, but it's kind of reminded me a lot of the... Oh, what am I doing there? That would have been a horrible mistake. It, it was really reminiscent of, like, the... Dang it, I did not want those. It was very reminiscent of the Harry Potter staircases, you know, the movies where they all move around. I mean, not that it looked anything like that, but just because um, they were also, like, all over the place, the staircases. And that was, that was very obviously the intention to look all artsy and stuff. But I thought that was really, really, really cool looking. I was pretty impressed with that. Uh, but besides that, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it was an okay experience, I guess. <laughs> um... Anything else I could really tell you guys about the museum? Not really. I mean, it was okay. Like, my girlfriend is a huge fan of museums, but even she was kind of like, it was meh. I think that's good. I mean, considering we don't really even have many, just probably like one stack of signs would have been good here. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. We'll do that. Make it look like someone's been using signs. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Hello. Yeah, this this is totally a place people use. <laughs> look at that. Look at these odd numbers of signs. People obviously use this place. Now we need to go on a quest to find things for a book. Um, oops. Uh, want to know... How this works. Check the chest. Check the chest, check the chest, check the chest, check the chest, check the chest. Name that reference. It's Dora the Explorer. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why Dora the Explorer makes me crazy, but she does. I go crazy for that girl. Is that what I did? Oh, I didn't even touch the roofs, did I? The roughs. That's what a that's what a dog's favorite o occupation is: roughing, roofing. You know, because they go roof, roof. I don't get it either. It's okay. Um, all right. Cool. I'm happy. This is pretty much complete now. All you need is a book in there, and it's done. Well, minus we need blocks over here as well to move all this junk over. Are we good on lighting levels? By the way, I should probably check that out. Light 14, 10. This here would be the. Nine still, yeah, it's all fine. Mob spawn at seven or eight. I'm pretty sure it's seven. Although I was, if I saw eights, I would have fixed it when I was working on the arena. The Gurdiga Gruginga. And the good thing about this is I have a lot of room for expansion. Should this ever, you know, come to that, even though I don't really think it will. Uh, before we go, food. I need some food. This will be. I'm sure this will be the only chest that's occasionally used. <laughs> Because everybody needs food. Everybody needs to eat. Uh, is there any way? I need, well, I need leather in an ink sack. I also need to make a book. Which, that might be a troubling thing, too. Um, I don't really remember how making books works. What has really been driving me crazy. What the heck, one of these I broke? I, I saw it break in one of the videos, and I'm pretty dang sure no one's come along and fixed it. So where the heck is it? Why isn't it broken? Is someone messing with me? Did they purposely fix it knowing it would drive me crazy? Probably. Really? Oh, those are bunnies. I thought these were all chickens, and oh, good lord, this is so loud. Um, how do we get in again? Here we go. This is actually the first time I've been in here. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't have a sword, so I'm just going to ask you guys a question. Cow bleed. Jeez, dude. That's crazy. Alright. Do do. Now we run away as our sounds kind of cut out. Yay, we did it! Uh, now I have to remember how to freaking make a. Oh, we need to make pages. That is going to be a difficult task for me. There's. I thought maybe there'd be a crafting table there, but nope. A crafting bench. You little bench. 
<laughs> you thought I was gonna swear you there, didn't you? I don't do that. Alright. Um, three pages and then. Please work. Yeah! Now we just need an ink sack. Oh, and a feather? Uh, I probably. Well. There's probably feathers in one of these chests, isn't there? Well, even so, I probably shouldn't take that because that's not mine. <laughs> um. I'm sure people will not have to go on feather though, right? It's just one little itty bitty feather. One little tiny itty bitty 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 feather. I, uh, I guess we just go back to the farm, even though I don't really want to. Uh, I really, I'm pretty sure to make like a, a writing, a writable book, you have to use um, an ink sack, uh, a feather, and a book, right? You just place all three of those in the thing. I don't really remember to be honest. Okay, let's let's just get out. I just need out. <laughs> this is a place I do not want to be. So this platoon came out and um posted a video of that the other day asking if you guys want me to play more of that. And I actually did get uh, a few comments saying, Yes, I want you to play more, Chris, and I have not done that yet. <laughs> Mostly because I just haven't had time. There's so many things I need to edit. Um, Super Mario World, Super Mario 3D World is coming to a close. So once that's done, I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. Because I'm not entirely sure. Well, actually, actually, my four years of Let's Playing is coming up on June 3rd, I believe. And um, so uh, that's that's on Wednesday. Jeez, that's two days when this video is being go when this video is going up. So wish me happy four years. Yay! I've made so much progress in the four years. <laughs> um, but because of that. I am going to start a new Let's Play in honor of four years. And that is the first thing I ever did on my channel. Yep, that's right. I'm doing Let's Play Pitfall The Lost Expedition. Oh yeah, replay. Please tell me I'm going the right way still. I think that's a staircase over there. So yeah, I, I'm just kind of hoping I ordered something that I need to be able to capture um, in 720p. Even though it only goes to 480p, I still don't, even like the 480p recording of my hopage looks really bad in my opinion. It just looks really grainy and yucky. So I'm going to use my Elgato that records in 1080p, but I'm just going to make it record and not 1080p. <laughs> I'm going to probably just make it record in um, 720 and then just, you know, upload the videos in 720 even though that's unnecessary. But this is a nice little mini squid farm. Give me your squids. Give me your squids. Yeah, yeah. All right, please tell me this is gonna work. Wow, there's this is actually not a bad squid farm. <laughs> An unintentional squid farm, I'm sure, was caused by a few creepers or something. I'm at 21. Seriously, jeez, I was not expecting that many. I thought I was gonna get like 10 at the most. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Wee. Um. But yeah, so we were else playing Pitfall Expedition again, and I'm really excited to do that. And actually, this is the first time I've told anybody. That I'm doing that. Um, nobody knows. So whoever's watching this, ep or this episode, you get the first scoop. And I, I'm really hoping um, some of my like longtime subscribers that haven't really found anything I've done recently, I'm hoping they'll like be like, "Hey, I remember this." It'd, it'd be really cool to see some of my original commenters back, and a lot of them do. Like I do see occasional comments from like my very first subscribers still, but. There's some that, you know, that just kind of disappear over time, which is fair, but I'm pretty sure are still subscribed to me, so it would be really, really, really cool to see some of those back. Um, but yeah, I plan to keep it on my channel um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to honor the original upload schedule I used when I very first started YouTube. Um, well, the what's playing anyways. What's playing on YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for like five or six years. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm, I mean... There's two reasons why I want to let's play. Well, three, I guess. Well, actually, a bunch of reasons. Jeez. Um, for one, I've just improved as a let's player in general, obviously, in the four years in comparison to, like, the first day I ever... Is this shop? Okay, so I don't even... Oh, man, I forget. You can't, you can't like, click anywhere. Man, this thing isn't like freaking Word. Microsoft Word. How to use this shop. Public, you know, I'm sure you guys don't want to see me write this. Public, oops, public block storage is for anyone to use. You can t 
take whatever blocks you want for free. Want to donate blocks? Put them in any of the exist existing chests if the um, sign matches your block or grab a sign from uh, grab a sign from this chest and make your own category hope you enjoy you buttheads Chris beautiful uh, public block storage oops oh really public blocks uh, well good enough yay I did it what I should do to be honest is um make a copy of this book but whatever I'll just throw in there I took two seconds right um anyways I'm just, I'm just, I mean, one of the reasons why I want to re let's play that is for nostalgia reasons. I haven't really touched that game, so I let's play it. Well, that's not true. I did play it three years ago, I think. I, I, I wanted to learn to speedrun it, and um, of course, I didn't get too far with that. <laughs> Otherwise, you guys would have heard me talk about it more. I don't even know if I ever talked about that ever. I probably have in one of my Let's Plays. Um... Another reason why I did horrible quality, my commentary was pretty poopy. Well, you know what, I actually really don't mind my first video's commentary. I thought it was pretty okay. Um, I, I do want to do, I'm going to probably do like a sidebar thing as well. At least for like all the idols and shaman stuff. Um, I mean, I guess that's really it. Oh, oh, another big thing was back when I started doing that, I could only upload 11 minute videos. Actually, it was like 10 minute and 59 second long videos. And so what would happen is occasionally I'd go over that and I would have to speed up the video by like the entire video by like 0.5% or something like minuscule like that or actually it would be like 1.3 times the normal speed and it wasn't really ever noticeable. Actually I think in a few videos it was probably noticeable but it's, it'd, it'd be really great to not have to worry about that. Uh, that being said I do want to keep it to uh, somewhat uh, uniform length probably around 15 minutes per video. 10 minutes is too short in my opinion though. Um, but yeah, so, hope you guys look forward to that, I do plan to start posting on the 3rd, like, oh, ooh, wait, the 4th of my, is my anniversary, right? Was it the 3rd or the 4th? Hmm, I'll probably, anyway, I think it's, it might be the 4th to be honest, which is a Thursday. Regardless, I will start posting it on my anniversary, assuming my thing comes in that I ordered off of Amazon to be able to record with my Elgato. Um, and then, therefore, I or thereafter, I will post every Monday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm really excited for this to replay that game. Like, I'm really excited. Uh, but then again, I'm really excited to start any new Let's Play. <laughs> uh, but I guess I'm gonna call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. My name's Chris. Can I make another book actually? Maybe we will. I mean, we do have all the supplies right here, right? It's kind of beckoning me to do so, so maybe, well, I, mm, how do I do this again? Do I just do this? Uh, I don't remember how to make a copy. I guess we could do this, right? Okay, and that stays there. Phew, that's weird. It's like whenever you craft anything, like both everything in the crafting area disappears, but not when you craft a copy of a book. Uh, that would be good to keep an extra, even though, you know, that wasn't really exactly written too well. I probably made typos in there as well. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, now that we're done the public block storage, I think I'm going go to new, go to a new base. There's a lot I do want to do around spawn. Like, I want to fix this tower up really badly. Like, this needs to be, like, look at this ugly cobblestone. It's so gross. Um, I want to make it. I want to make this tower beautiful. Uh, like it, it, it just it's so ugly, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but uh, that will either either be left for someone else to do, or it'll stay until I get myself set up a base and then feel like doing this one day instead of working on some of my base. Another thing I want to do is I want to pretty up this. I have an idea. I kind of want to make it to like a 
a stand, like a natural looking stand with like fences and pottery and like uh, jungle wood and jungle leaves just all around. You know, make it look decent. Oh, perfect. I'll put that book in there. It'll just be like season one where the only thing I ever put in my chest was my um, general store book. <laughs> So, yeah, I've, I've ranted on for long enough, or ranted. I've talked a lot for long enough. Ramble. Ramble, that's what I was looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. The next episode, I, we, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Oh, I should probably finish this up as well. Well, I'll do that off camera. You guys don't need to see this. It, but for the most part, of this place is complete now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you look forward to my Pitfall replay. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!